super cool. I love, I love that commercial. It's something I adore. Watch it over and over again as many times as you can and just look at those girls and how intense they dance. It's one of my favorite parts of that thing. It really brings out a, a great love for the device. Now, we're going to talk to you about a number of things today. And of course, I'm, I'm representing the entire Surface team up here. And I want to walk you through the entire product. So if you bear with me, I'm going to take you through a bunch of stages. I'm going to do a few things I don't normally do. The first one is I'm going to take off touch cover. Don't do this very often, but I'm going to do it here because I do want to talk about the product as a tablet when Steven talks about it as an extension of Windows 8, when we talk about it as a stage for Windows 8. These are words that we use and choose within our team to really write out the specs as they should be, to work with the software and hardware teams together to pull out everything that is Windows and bring it to the surface of Surface. Oh, it's kind of irony. Now, I'm going to give you a few steps that are pretty important to understand in the device. I'm going to start with, this, with the screen size, because when you talk about the decisions made for this device, a lot of people ask, why? Why did you pick 10.6 inches of screen? Now, I'm going to walk you through it because it really does illustrate the details that are so important and part of Surface. 10.6 inches. That's diagonal from here to here. It's a clear type display. I'll explain what clear type is in just a few moments, and I'll actually show you some demos running clear type so you can really get a feel for it. But I wanted to talk to you more about the details underneath. With 10.6 inches, a couple things are happening. One, it's the perfect expression of Windows. It's exactly what the software was intended to run on. You can see this when you go into multitasking. I'm going to show you that in just a minute as well. You can be browsing on one side, and on the other side, you can be watching a movie. You can be doing mail and browsing. And what you'll see is within the screen and the way it renders, you get this perfect clarity and beauty because of the clear type display, but more importantly, because of the screen size. Now, that 10.6 inches is unique because it's not one of the standard sizes that you get off any manufacturing line. It's not one of these things that if you just call up and make a phone call, next thing you know, they send you a few panels, and they happen to be 10.6 inches. This panel was designed from the ground up in Redmond. There's a team there working very hard. We've got a great display team, and they designed it from the ground up. With that, and with the vapor mag investment that Microsoft made to encase this product, and hopefully you've seen some reviews that watch quality finish and how beautiful it is to hold, it's a great thing. You put those two things together, and then within it, the components have to fit perfectly. Doesn't really work that way. You have to design this product from the inside out. We spread the batteries perfectly evenly, of course custom batteries. Every component in the product, which we've mentioned before, over 200 custom components built into this product are all here part of Surface just to bring it to life, to make it fit perfectly. Here's the, here's the real question, why? Why spend all that energy, all that time, and all that money to build this thing? Why would you do it that way? Here's why. It has to feel great. That's it has to feel great when you hold it, has to feel great when you're holding a tablet, has to feel light, has to feel right. That's how we write our specs. We say it that way, and the team builds it that way. So when you're holding it, when you are holding this, you, the moment of inertia, which essentially is the weight that's transferring right here to your wrists, is, is very minimal. As a matter of fact, you can compare it to other tablets out there. Hold this just the way it was meant to be held, and it'll feel lighter than the 1.5 pounds that you're actually holding. Now. As I'm holding it as a tablet, I'm going to show you a few things. And since this, I'm talking about the screen, let's talk about the aspect ratio. This is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. That's important for a couple of reasons, and I'll share that with you. I've opened the kickstand. You may have noticed. Behind the kickstand, if you want to just take a closer look, and I'll show you, this is a micro SD card. We didn't talk about this much before, but I do want to show it to you because it's a really important feature to me. I use it all the time, and here's why. I travel to China quite a bit. On this 64 gigabyte micro SD card, I can store over 40 of my HD movies. On my device, I have another 64 gigabytes. I have 128 gigabytes that I'm holding just right here. I can store, of course, photos or pictures or songs, whatever you choose, whatever's great for you, that storage just this, super fast, pretty seamless. You'll love this. Now, for me, it's important. Here's why. When I'm traveling to China, that 10-hour and 42-minute flight, I can watch five full HD movies right off of this card. That's important. It's important because my library is important to me, and that's what keeps me sane as I'm traveling all the way to China to make sure that our products are coming off the line great. Now, that's for me. Now, here's the great thing. That really is, again, the extension of Windows. The goal of Surface, one of the key goals, was to give you all-day battery life, to be able to give this to you in a way where you can use it the way I use it when I'm traveling to China and not worry about running out of battery ever. 
As a matter of fact, when I got off the plane, I got off the plane in China, I would land, I'd walk over, sit on my seat, and as I'm sitting on the seat, there's a plug, I plug in Surface. This is another decision for the product that I want to share with you. I want to share it with you because the team spent a lot of time deciding, hey, should we have a slow charging USB? How fast should it charge? What does it feel like when it charges? What gives me the confidence that when I'm using it, when I'm using it, I can still be charging at the same time? How do I know that's going to happen? We left, we left no stone unturned on this. Now, we call it a power supply that charges this thing. It has a unique power magnetic dock. But what you do here in charging is you can play work, recharge. In that one last layover, within two hours, I was almost at 100% charge, and that was almost at an empty battery, which is just amazing for a product like this when you're using it. Now, I see a few of you looking at me. I want you to play with the device. I'm going to hand this to you. When I hand it to you, just have a moment. Jonathan, it's good to meet you. I'm Panos. Nice to meet you. All right. Enjoy that. Okay. All right, so maybe the first thought is you don't watch your movies on, uh, you maybe not, maybe you don't all watch your movies off SD cards, which is cool, because there's this whole thing called Netflix, and there's this other thing called Hulu, and there's a bunch of different reasons to watch movies in different ways, and stuff that you're totally used to, that you already do, that you already do, and I do as well when I'm at home. Now, a couple of cool things. The Wi-Fi in this is the 2x2 two two MIMO antennas, if you heard of those. Those are exactly designed for Surface, and when I say every component fits in perfectly into this device, it really was designed that way to light this thing up. A great story. I'm going to tell you a great story about wireless really quick, so bear with me. Uh, up on the hotel roof that I'm staying at in New York, this just happened. You go up on that hotel roof and sit down. Try the, I, I don't even know the name of my hotel, so I won't give a plug. But as I'm sitting up there, I'm sitting by the pool, and I'm about to get on my wireless network, and a gentleman comes over who's working around the pool and says, sir, you're not going to be able to actually get connection up here. I want you to move to this other spot, which is interesting. I said, don't worry about it. Just give me the password, and I'll connect. Sure enough, I turned on Surface. Check this out. From a gentleman who was trying to tell me that I'm not going to be able to make a connection to any network, I had five wireless networks pop up on this with four full bars on the network that he thought I wasn't going to be able to get on. That's kind of an illustration, almost a great illustration, just happened to me last night exactly on this device, which is really cool. Wi-Fi performance was critical because if you are going to be streaming these videos, and for me, and for me, I like to use Xbox videos, so I'm going to open that, and you may have heard this earlier. If you are going to stream these videos, you want to be connected at all times. I'm going to stream, I'm going to stream a movie here for you guys. This is uh, The Avengers. You'll take a look. Now, you can't hear it, of course, because I've got the volume turned down, but I do want to talk about the clear type display as I'm doing this since I have it open. A couple of things to notice. A couple of things to notice. One is the contrast. The contrast. I'm going to tell you where that comes from. What does contrast mean? The blackers are black and the whiters are white. The colors are more vibrant. Because of the contrast we're able to create with the clear type technology, you'll read some of the reviews and you'll see that. Take, some look, take a look at some of the reviews out there and they'll give you more details so I won't spend a lot of time on it here. The other thing you may have noticed is the lack of reflectivity on this. Now as I'm holding it, it looks probably like a clear picture. And what we've done is we've optically bonded the screen and I'm going to talk about that in just a few minutes. But along with the optical bonding, what we tried to accomplish was we wanted to strengthen the device, but more importantly, reduce the reflectivity for you. Now check out what I'm just doing. What you're going to see behind me is all I did, and you may have heard Steve talk about this earlier. You also heard Julie mention it. Check it out. I just transferred the movie from my device to you through my Xbox using, using Smart Glass with one touch of the button to give you the content that you love right here. Check it out. because I handed out the Surface just so you can play with it. I better stop handing these out because I'm going to run out in a minute. Um, what was happening right there was the content was coming rich as Xbox was pushing to the Surface a ton of content about the actors and a ton of content about the movie itself that you were watching. This is a real-life experience that's happening that Xbox and Surface bring together. We talk about, we talk about extending Windows, but really we're extending all of Microsoft, and you're going to start to see it. You're going to see it more and more, especially as we go through this. Now I'm going to do just another quick demo for you, because you might ask, well, 
why don't you put music on your SD? Now, here's the reason. It's pretty simple. I'm going to open a song for you, and I'm going to show you a bit of the same semblance. You heard Julie mention earlier that Xbox music is coming, and it comes when you buy your Surface. You get Xbox music with it. Xbox music, this is unlimited streaming of music for you. You can skip as many songs as you want, pick any songs, make your playlist. Just all you have to do is purchase Surface, and you get Xbox music with it. It's just a very cool scenario. What do you think? Here, I'll listen to the music. I got it playing. But I'm going to show you one more thing here. Just take it to the exact same place. So Xbox, Surface, coming together. Pretty cool, right? Now check this out. I'm just going to play it right here. And the same idea. As I decide to play it to the screen behind me, this is if I'm at home. Now, I don't have a 200-inch screen at home, but you kind of get the point that what I'm able to do here is play it straight to my Xbox, and then it comes right to you, so you have real content, real content coming to you. Give me a minute. I just pushed the button so you can see it. Now, as it hits the screen behind me, think of this scenario at home. You have a surround sound. You have a stereo system. 